Hello everyone and welcome, I am your host, Elias Sarantopoulos. Pixelmator Photo as a powerful photo editor provides non-destructive color adjustments. And so in this Pixelmator tutorial, we will take advantage of the histogram panel to evaluate toner values and color correct a landscape photo using curves and individual color channels. The histogram shows us the general distribution of data from highlights to shadows. It is a graphic display of the tonal values inside an image. Now, in terms of tonal data, and starting from the far left, we have the shadows, followed by the three-quarter tones, mid-tones, quarter tones, and on the far right is the highlight end of the image. We will evaluate our landscape photo based on what we see on the histogram and we will use curves to make precise color adjustments. We will look at the entire distribution of tones in the composite RGB channel as well as the tonal values represented in the red, green and blue channel. Looking at the distribution of tones of this image inside the Curves Composite RGB channel, we see a big peak on the shadows, which means we have lost some details there. And on the highlights and quarter tones, we have flat data, and that's why we have such a low contrast image. Now, when we move to the individual color channels inside Curves, we see the same peaks on the shadows inside the red channel, less on the green channel, more on the blue channel, but none of these color channels exhibit any data on the highlight end. Since we have lost some of the shadow details as we see inside the histogram, we will adjust that as well as adjust the highlight values so they don't begin from the quarter tones, rather than extend all the way to the highlight end. And we will make those adjustments for each of the individual color channels. Now looking inside the Curves Adjustment Panel, this point is known as the white point, representing the brightest pixel. And this point is known as the black point, representing the darkest pixel. In this case, in the Curves Composite channel, we will bump up the black point just a little bit. That will reduce the dark spots and light up the details. So when we print this, we don't print just solid black color. Now for the color correction, we will look into the individual color channels, beginning with the red channel. Tap on the white point, bring it in, so it increases the highlights at the same time, keep an eye at the histogram and keep focus on the very far end of the spectrum. Keep moving the highlight point till it begins to spike up and then just back it off, otherwise we would lose highlight data. Now do the same on the green channel. Tap on the white point, drag it over so it increases the highlights and you don't go too far and blow out tonal data. The moment you see a peak, Back it off just a tad. Same story applies on the blue channel. We will tap on the highlight point, move it in right before we get any peaks at the very far end. Now let us go ahead and move to the lightness panel to reduce the overall highlights. That will mostly affect the blue sky. We will increase some of the shadows so we can see the front walls and some of the grass and touch up reducing some of the contrast. So after making those changes, our focus should be back on the histogram and see the highlights on the blue channel. They were retracted towards the quarter tones. So again, inside the curves, we will drag the white point till we see a peak and then back it off a bit. Repeat the same process for the red and green channel to improve the color balance of the photo. To see how the photo looked like originally without the specific edits, touch and hold and see how much we accomplished reading the histogram 
evaluating the photo's tonality and using curves to fix all that. Now, in the event you wish to export your work, tap on the three dots in the toolbar at the top of the screen, tap to export, and then choose the formats best suits your needs. Thank you everyone for spending time with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, provide feedback, requests, ideas, and share the knowledge.